<clears throat> stop wasting your time doing nothing. Every day, people go by wasting their valuable time that could be used to research into starting a business, meditating, reading, lifting some weights, or just anything that's better than sitting on your phone, uselessly scrolling through social media and X websites. Your time can indeed be used to take a moment and relax, check social media, play some video games. I play video games. I play video games with friends and I take moments to spend that time with friends. But the moment that cup overflows and we realize that we could be using this time, this spent time doing something productive. Now you don't need to constantly be doing work every day, work every single moment of your life. But the moment that cup overflows and we've been doing this stupid stuff all day is when we realize, when you need to realize, when I need to realize that we could be doing, using this time for something productive. For me, it could probably be meditating. Sometimes I forget to meditate and I just don't. I've been lacking on that for probably a month now. I'm not going to lie. Like I've spent time eating after, like I usually meditate after I work out. I usually eat and then I don't have enough concentration or focus or enough, and enough concentration or focus to meditate. And for you, it may be a whole nother thing. In this video, we're gonna go over on uh, go over the steps on how to stop procrastinating and actually doing what you need to do and not want to do. First thing we want to do is managing our sleep schedule. I have videos on sleep. I, you can also watch whatever videos you want on sleep. Just get a better sleep schedule. You can indeed stay up late in the morning or late at night doing work but that's bad, you wanna get better sleep. Now, after we manage our sleep schedule, the first thing we wanna do into the actual steps, like that, managing a sleep schedule is like step zero. This is the first step. Put away whatever kills your time. Put away whatever, put away or hide whatever takes you into a hole. Save it for later. Video games, your phone. You may, you're gonna need your phone for the next step. So maybe just hide it. Um, uh, uh, yeah, video games, your phone, uh, TV controller, uh, speaker, whatever kills your time. Put it away and observe. Sit down and start working. Just light work, homework. And observe why, where, and when you're getting these urges. You may get up to get water and you wanna check your phone or you wanna turn on the TV. Just do random actions while you're doing light work, like homework, and you like you get up to do something else. Observe the urges, like you see the video game controller you wanna play video games, or you like you see the couch, you see the TV, you wanna turn on the TV or play video games. Just observe that. And then between the, this and the next step, Start getting into harder and harder work, like from doing homework to reading, and then reading to meditating, and then meditating to watching a watching like a self improvement video and taking notes. That like this, the video would be like an hour, two hours long, or making a schedule for tomorrow or whatever. Hard, just do harder and harder work, and then when you've gotten into the hard work, take your phone and set a timer for more than an hour. You're gonna be getting into the work zone. That timer is how long you're gonna be working. So set it for two, three hours, four, maybe even five. You're gonna be in the work zone for that amount of time. The work zone is when you're ultra focused. You're focused on your work. What I suggest to probably get into the work zone is do something that's gonna take you a long time. What I did to get into the work zone was I would watch self-improvement videos, take notes and apply those notes and then do whatever work. 
and I would be just looking, watching and writing. Like I would watch like business video. I would be taking notes on that. Like I'm in actual class because class is where I feel focused. And you're going to be doing that for however long. So you're in the work zone for however long and you're just working. Now, what I, uh, what I suggest to get into this is don't eat. Don't eat beforehand and finish everything, like all your chores, walking dog, uh, doing your bed, uh, take out the garbage, do your chores beforehand. So nobody disturbs you. You do not want to be disturbed when you're in the work zone. Practice this daily. Practice takes perfect. Practice takes perfect. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just get into the work zone. One, two hours. You're going to be set. So know that we're done. Are you actually going to apply this?